this video I'm going to show you how to update the firmware of the Freak filter. The update works by playing back a WAV file into the audio input of, of the module and this WAV file contains uh, the firmware. So it, it is usually a long file that you can just play back uh, with your computer through your audio card. First we need to enter into the firmware update mode. This is done by holding the two buttons and resetting or powering up the module. We can see that we have entered and the first screen that we see it's a screen where we can test our audio uh, level. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to play back the WAV file and in this case we can see that the level is it's good. And by pressing the right button we can start the firmware upgrade. Now the module is waiting for the for the signal. Now I'm going to start uh, playing back the WAV file. And we can see that the module is not now receiving the signal. This file is quite long, uh, it takes about four minutes and a half and in case the level is bad it can produce an error in the in the update. In this case let's insert the error, I'm gonna stop. So I stop the playback and we get this screen in which we can test again our input level and we can press the right button to retry the update. So I started again the WAV file and it's receiving it. I'm gonna let it run until it finishes. Okay, it's, it's almost done. When it finishes, the module is going to restart automatically and start running the new firmware. One of the issues that we can have when updating the firmware is that the level is too low, like in this case, I'm connecting uh, the audio output of my computer straight into the module. And I know, uh, because I have tested many times before, that this uh, the computer doesn't produce a good output level as you can see in the graphic here. This will make the update fail. But let's try it. So I started playing back the audio file and usually after a few seconds it fails. Okay, here's a failure. What I'm going to try instead is taking the audio output of the computer and plugging it into any other module that amplifies the signal. In this case is Borg. Uh, it's a filter, so I open completely the filter and put the drive to maximum. It, this module in, increases a little bit the audio signal. So I'm going to take it, its output and connect it to the module. And let's test the level. I'm going to play back the file and we can see that it's higher but it's, it's ok. So I stop it, I press the retry and flash the firmware again. And that's it, that's the process that you need to follow in order to upgrade the firmware of the free filter. And as the development continues I'm going to publish the updates and you will be able to find in these updates in my website.